1절부터 12절까지 말씀입니다. 네, 이거 영어로만 읽을게요. Okay. Uh, the passage we have for today is Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 to 12. Um, verse 1, Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as was everyone in Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem in Judea, they said, for this is what the prophet wrote. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the ruling cities of Judah, for a ruler will come from you who will be the shepherd for my people Israel. Then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men, and he learned from them the time when the star first appeared. Verse 8. Uh, then he told them, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child, and when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. After this interview, the wise men went their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And when it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route, for God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. Amen. 오늘 본문은 예수님이 태어나셨던 첫 번째 크리스마스에 일어난 일입니다. Today's passage is about what happened on the very first Christmas when Jesus was born. 이스라엘 사람들은 아무도 왕으로 오신 예수님을 영접하지 않았는데 동방의 박사가 왕의 탄생을 알리는 별을 보고 아주 멀리서 이스라엘로 찾아왔습니다. While none of the Israelites received their king, three wise men from the east saw the star that announced the king's birth and they traveled far to Israel. 그런데 오는 도중에 별이 사라졌기 때문에 할수 없어서 당시 유대의 왕이었던 헤롯 왕에게 이들은 찾아가게 되죠. But on their way the star disappeared so the wise men had no choice but to visit King Herod who was the king of Judea at the time. 헤롯 왕때 예수께서 유대 베들레헴에서 나심에 동방으로부터 박사들이 예루살렘에 이르러 이르되 유대인의 왕으로 나신 이가 어디 계시냐 우리가 동방에서 그의 별을 보고 그에게 경배하러 왔노니. Verse 1, Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. About the time some wise men from eastern lands um, arrived in Jerusalem asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. 왜 동방 박사들은 헤로당을, 아, 헤로당을 찾아갔을까요? Why did the wise men go to King Herod? 동방 박사들이 생각하기에 왕의 탄생을 알리는 별이 나타났으므로 이스라엘의 모든 사람들이 다 그것을 알 것이라고 생각한 것입니다. It's because the wise men from the east thought all the Israelites would know that the star was announcing the birth of their king. 그런데 이스라엘 사람들은 전혀 알지를 못했습니다. But the people of Israel had no idea. 오늘이 크리스마스인데 사람들은 오늘이 무슨 날인지 모르는 것과 똑같은 이치입니다. Today is Christmas Day, but many people don't really know what this day means. 오늘날 크리스마스에는 크리스마스의 주인공인 예수님이 없습니다. So the Christmas everyone celebrates actually leaves out the main person of Christmas which is Jesus. 많은 사람들이 크리스마스는 선물을 받는 날, 하루 신나게 노는 날로 생각합니다. 왜 그럴까요? Many people believe that Christmas is just a day to receive presents and to have lots of fun. Why do you think this is? 예수님은 사람들의 왕으로 오셨기 때문에 그게 싫은 거예요. It's because Jesus came as the king of all people. 사람들은 자신들 위에 왕이 있는 것이 너무 싫은 것입니다. See, people they hate having a king over them. 사람들은 모두 자기가 하고 싶은 대로 하고 살기를 원해요. Because people want to live the way they want to. 더군다나 유대인의 왕이었던 헤롯 왕은 어떻겠습니까? Then how do you think King Herod felt about another king that had come? 내가 왕인데 또 무슨 왕이 필요하단 말인가 하면서 화가 났습니다. Herod was angry because I'm the king, not anybody else. 그래서 사람들을 불러 그리스도가 어디에서 나오느냐라고 묻자 사람들은 구약 시대에 미가 선지자가 예언했던 말을 통해서 베들레헴이라고 말해 줍니다. And so he called people and asked them where the Christ was coming from and the people said that the Christ would come from Bethlehem as foretold by the prophet Micah in the Old Testament. 우리가 읽는 성경은 구약과 신약이 있습니다. The Bible we read is split into the Old Testament and the New Testament. 
구약의 많은 이야기는 예수님이 오실 때의 이야기를 미리 예언하였는데 그 예언이 모두 신약에서 이루어졌습니다. Many of the Old Testament records predicted the coming of Jesus in advance and all of those prophecies were fulfilled in the New Testament. 신기하죠? Isn't it interesting? 예수님이 처녀인 마리아에게서 나온다라는 것, 베들레헴에서 태어나신다라는 것, 낙이 타고 예루살렘으로 올라가신다라는 것, 그리고 십자가에서 죽으신다라고 하는 그 모든 말씀이 다 이루어졌습니다. The prophecies that Jesus would be born to Mary who was a virgin and that he would be born in Bethlehem, ride a donkey into Jerusalem, uh, die on the cross, they have all been fulfilled. 그리고 신약의 이야기는 지금 오늘날 이루어지고 있습니다. And the prophecies of the New Testament are still being fulfilled today. 헤롯은 베들레헴에서 왕이 나온다라는 사실을 동방 박사들에게 알려 주었습니다. King Herod had told the three wise men that a king would come from Bethlehem. 이에 헤롯이 가만히 박사들을 불러 별이 나타난 때를 자세히 묻고 베들레헴으로 보내며 이르되 가서 아기에 대하여 자세히 알아보고 찾거든 내게 구하여 나도 가서 그에게 경배하게 하라. Verse 7, then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men, and he learned from them the time when the star first appeared. Then he told them, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. When you find him, come back and tell me so that I can go and worship him too. 헤로당이 친절하게 동방 박사들에게 베들레헴에 가보라고 알려주었습니다. King Herod kindly informed the three wise men to go to Bethlehem. 헤로당이 착해서일까요? Did Herod tell them because he was kind? 정말로 아기 예수님께 경배하려고 한 것일까요? Did he tell them because he really, really wanted to worship baby Jesus? 아닙니다. No way. 헤로당은 예수를 죽여 자기가 계속해서 왕이 되려고 한 것입니다. King Herod wanted to kill Jesus and continue to be king for himself. 자기 마음대로 살려는 사람들은 예수님을 싫어합니다. People who want to do whatever they want, they hate Jesus. 죄짓기 좋아하는 사람들도 예수님을 싫어합니다. People who love to sin hate Jesus. 동방 박사들이 베들레헴으로 갈 때에 하늘에 갑자기 사라졌던 별이 다시 나타나 움직이기 시작하더니 예수님이 태어난 곳에 멈추었습니다. As the wise men went to Bethlehem, the star that disappeared from the sky, it suddenly appeared and then moved until it stood over where Jesus was. 그것이 어디였을까요? And where was this place that Jesus was in? 말구유였습니다. It was a manger. 왜 그곳이었을까요? Why was he there? 예수님의 어머니 마리아가 아이를 낳으려고 하는데 빈방이 없었기 때문에 그렇습니다. It was because Mary, Jesus' mother, was trying to give birth to a baby, but there was no, no room available anywhere. anywhere. 그래서 할수 없이 말구 위에서 태어난 것입니다. So with nowhere to go, she was put into a barn. 동방 박사들은 별이 멈춘 곳에 말구유가 있었고 그곳에 어린 아기가 누워 있었습니다. When the wise men went to the place where the star had stopped, there they found a baby lying in a manger. 말구유는 말똥 냄새, 말오줌 냄새, 그리고 매우 더러웠습니다. The manger smelled of horse manure, horse urine, and it was filthy. 사람들은 더러운 곳을 잘안 가죠. People don't really like to go to places that are dirty. 그런데 동방 박사들은 그곳에 들어갔는데 더러운 것은 보지 않고 오직 예수님만 보았습니다. However, the wise men didn't see the filth around them. They only had eyes for Jesus. 그리고 예수님께 동방 박사들은 황금과 유양과 모략이라고 하는 당시에는 가장 귀한 것을 선물하였습니다. And the wise men from the east gave Jesus the most precious items of the time, which were gold, frankincense, and myrrh. 왜 드렸을까요? Why did they give Jesus such gifts? 크리스마스는 누구의 생일입니까? Whose birthday do we celebrate on Christmas? 누구의 생일이죠? Whose birthday is it? 그 정도로 특히 예수님이 들으시겠습니까? Do you think Jesus heard y'all? <웃음> 예수님 생일입니다. It's Jesus's birthday. 그러니까 예수님께 선물을 드린 거예요. So don't you think we should give Jesus the presents? 동방 박사들이 예수님에게 준 가장 큰 선물은 무엇일까요? What was the greatest gift that the wise men gave to Jesus? 황금, 유향, 몰약일까요? Was it gold, frankincense, or the myrrh? 아닙니다. No. 동방 박사들은 되게 멀리서 왔습니다. The wise men came from a place very far away. 어떤 분들은 거기가 
지금의 이라크 이란 지역이라고 이야기하는 사람들도 있고요. 터키라고 이야기하는 사람도 있어요. There are people that say it was around Iraq or Iran or even as far as Turkey. 오다 보니까 배도 고팠습니다. As they were on their journey, they found themselves to be hungry. 어쩔 때는 비도 오고 눈도 오고 어쩔 때는 강도들의 위협도 있었습니다. As they followed the star, sometimes it rained, sometimes it snowed, and sometimes there were even threats uh, from robbers. 그들은 그러나 멈추지 않았습니다. However, they did not stop. 그들은 왕이신 예수님을 보겠다고 그먼 길을 찾아와 예수님을 보고 경배하였습니다. They came to see and worship King Jesus that the long journey was worth it for them. 수많은 사람들이 크리스마스에 자기들 좋은 대로 살지요. Uh, for Christmas, people usually buy the things that they want for themselves. 오늘 우리가 이 자리에 나서 예배 드리는 것이 예수님에게 드리는 가장 큰 선물입니다. The greatest gift that we can give Jesus today is to worship him. 미국에 사는 한 어머니가 크리스마스를 앞두고 가족들과 친지들을 위해서 선물을 포장하고 있었습니다. Once a mother living in the United States was wrapping presents for her family and friends right around Christmas time. 그때 곁에 있던 어린 아이가 엄마에게 물었습니다. As she was wrapping the gifts, um, her child asked the question. 엄마, 이 선물은 뭐야? Mommy, who are these presents for? 이거는 가족들과 이웃들에게 줄 크리스마스 선물이란다. They're Christmas presents for the family and neighbors. 좀더 엄마처럼. 어, oh. <웃음> 우리 엄마 이런데요. <웃음> <웃음> 알겠습니다. <웃음> 엄마, 크리스마스가 뭔데? Mommy, then what is Christmas? 예수님 생일. It's Jesus's birthday. <웃음> 그럼 엄마, 예수님 선물은 어디 있어? Then mommy, where is Jesus's birthday present? 이 질문에 엄마는 말문이 막혔습니다. The mom became speechless at this question. 한 번도 예수님에게 드릴 선물은 생각해 본 적이 없기 때문에 그렇습니다. It's because she never once thought of giving Jesus a birthday present. 예수님 생일에 나는 무엇을 예수님 선물로 드린 적이 있는가? She started to ask herself, what gift should I give Jesus on his birthday? 엄마는 그때부터 예수님께 드릴 선물을 준비하기 시작했습니다. And from then on the mother always prepared a gift for Jesus. 크리스마스는 정확히 예수님에게 선물을 드리는 날입니다. Christmas is a day to give gifts for Jesus. 무엇을 드리고 싶으세요? What would you like to give him? 드리고 싶은데 예수님은 보이지 않는다고요? You might say that you want to give Jesus a present but you can't see him. 예수님이 말씀하셨습니다. But Jesus once said this. 다른 사람에게 하는 것이 곧 나에게 하는 것이다. What you've done for others, you've also done for me. 크리스마스가 될때꼭 예수님께 드릴 선물을 준비해 보십시오. Let's prepare a gift for Jesus every Christmas. 왜요? And why should we? 크리스마스는 예수님의 생일이기 때문에 그렇습니다. Because Christmas is Jesus's birthday. 기도합니다. Amen. Let's pray. 존귀하신 하나님. 크리스마스에 우리가 누구 생일인지를 모르고 지나갈 때가 있습니다. Heavenly Father, there are many times where we celebrate Christmas without knowing for whom it's for. 크리스마스가 다가올 때 우리가 올해에는 내가 예수님께 무슨 선물을 드릴까 고민하게 하여 주십시오. I pray that as Christmas comes every year, help us to reflect what we can give you for Christmas. 존귀하신 예수님 이름으로 기도드립니다. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen.